My competition used to scare the absolute crap out of me. And it's not because I'm scared of competition. Ask anyone that knows me, they will tell you that I am super, super competitive. Um, but deep down, the reason I was scared of my competitors is because I felt like I was inferior to them. I had this, just this overwhelming feeling that I didn't measure up, that if my competitors saw my skill set or if they knew my onboarding process or how much I was charging for projects or whatever it was, that I would somehow be exposed as a fraud. And for a really long time, I let that fear drive me. I let it prevent me from finding community among like-minded creatives. I let that fear keep me from growing and I let it stop me from seeing and celebrating the greatness in others, the greatness in the community that was all around me. And that fear, it left me jaded. And for a really long time, I had isolated myself. I didn't really have people around me that I trusted and have people around me that I was letting in, that I was letting see my process or my skill set or even asking questions to. And so Nate and I, my business partner, we talked for a long time and we finally just came to this spot where we're like, we need to shift seeing other creatives as our competitors and start really seeing them as our community. And so we've made it a point now as we're networking or out in the community or as we run into other creatives to really just invite them into our community. We, we ask them for coffee, we'll go to lunch with them, um, we'll invite them on shoots if we have the budget for it, um, and we'll ask them, you know, what are some problems that you're having or how can you help me solve a problem that I'm having? And it's really just built up this amazing network of people in the same industry as us, people that are sometimes chasing even the same business as us, um, to start seeing them not as competitors, but as community. And so I wanna just challenge you today, if you're in that same mindset, if you're struggling with that, to ask yourself this question, what will you lose if you start celebrating your competition? What will you lose if you become their friend or if you ask them to help you on a project or to help you solve a problem? The sooner that you can dismantle that edginess towards your competitors, the sooner you're gonna regain your competitive edge, which is, making yourself the best at what you do. So here's your brief for today, your challenge, if you will. You already know who that industry peer is. The second I started talking about competitors, there was a person that came into your mind. I wanna challenge you, DM them, and just ask them if you can grab coffee or if you can grab lunch. And just let a conversation unfold from there and watch what happens in your own mind as you allow them to not just be a competitor, but someone that's actually a part of your community. If you're on board for doing that, drop us a handshake emoji in the comments so that we can give you a little bit of encouragement before you head on that journey. Uh, and we're just excited to see how that transforms your community.